good. <laughs> Get your box. Yeah. It is the Rollout Show right here at RolloutStudios.com. It's your boy Speed Doggy Dog, the funniest motherfucker you ever going to meet. Can you, in the house. can you turn the chipper down? Ten. That we can never turn that. No, down. it never goes down. It comes like that. Oh. You're lucky I didn't come 15 minutes early. <laughs> <laughs> in the house we got Nikki Pam. In the house we got Tangi Ambrose. Heaven, oh, I missed y'all. At the great table we have Javon Dawkins. And uh, oh, to my other side, uh, NFL cool. star. Well, used to be now he's <laughs> at home with the kids. Uh, well, apparently you gotta leave at one and go pick him up. Good place uh, to be. Good place to be. <laughs> <laughs> My man Ephraim in the building. Uh, used to be with the Houston Texans. Texans or Texans? Atlanta Houston. Falcons, Denver Broncos. Good state. Oh, Ooh, me. that's yeah. right. Look at you. Did you, you get a ring? Huh? Did you get a ring? He no, said, "Huh?" Speedy, Speedy, you, know you heard him. You got checks. Speedy, got show checks. him your ring. Speedy, show him. I got him a ring. Uh, I was, got a ring. Uh, celebrity league. Is that high school? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a celebrity basketball league. Don't, don't, Old Blue don't. Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Ephraim Salam. Am I saying it right? Salam. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Good oh, job. Ephraim Salam in the there. building. Uh, one of my good friends. It's good to be here. I've heard so much about this show. I'm uh, excited to be a part of it. Yeah, you came here uh, on judgmental. Time. You well, was very I, judgmental when you got here. Well, that was an eleven o'clock show. I got, here. <laughs> <laughs> I got here fifteen minutes early. Uh, and, and pan the whole time with eleven. Came with uh, speed is eleven. Oh, really? like, Do we start the eleven o'clock show at eleven? <laughs> no. I said no. I just wanted to know what my time, shit. Just wanted to know what time the eleven o'clock show started. It, uh, uh, around about. Okay, well, we, I, I see you have clocks on the wall. Multiple. <laughs> see that last one. Right. See that last one. The says last actually clock, on time. The last yeah. clock says C. P. Time. We're so actually we're, we're on early. time. It's actually <laughs> midnight on CP time. <laughs> <laughs> April in the building. Uh, thanks, man, because uh, you, you, he said at, at Fox, Nick, I want to be. You know, we have to show up on time. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> be professional. <laughs> energetic. <laughs> Well, when you well, own the studio yeah. and you own the mic, right. you can oh, okay. start this motherfucker when you want to. We could have did this in, from the back of your minivan. Pretty yeah. much, oh, pretty man. much. Or we could did. Did he have a minivan? Yeah, he does. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. It's twelve yeah. kids. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. that many stylish cars for twelve kids. <laughs> <laughs> put that out there. <laughs> you're, you're, All right, eat your fire right? It's I a little just, early I, in the morning. I'm just saying, you're going to have that many babies. You Boy, don't get to pick what type of luxury it. vehicle you, you have. You gonna get it. Either you get it when you're here or when you leave. That's, Either way it goes. That's fine. I'm I'll, going to win. <laughs> I never lose. Uh, is it this, is, is Monday. This small bottle of water for me? It's a shot of water. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't, can't tell you above human size here. Now, now, E, when you played, you was at what weight? 325. God damn. Yeah, oh, I remember that too. Because we go, this one you were at Denver or? It depends on when you're when, when I about. saw you. Oh, that I was. Went a, to the Raider game. Uh, that was the Texans. Okay, so I get, I go to the Raider Texas game because mm-hmm. he's playing. He got tickets for his whole nine. Mm-hmm. And so, what number were you like for that? 74. 74. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, he on the side, like, well, who who you, you know, who you know on the team? I said, the dude right there with the clean uniform. <laughs> 74. <laughs> that motherfucker was clean. <laughs> he had his helmet. He was just, you know, you know when you on the side. Now, 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 I'm only doing this because he was in the league. He, toward yeah. the end, he got a check on this. Okay. It was a great check. Uh-huh. Put that up there. But when he on the side, I mean, he the high five. Soon they come on the court. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no helmet on, no. pads clean, no. Nick Cleeks barely got a little grass on him. <laughs> yeah, I, I, my dumb ass, I'm in, I'm, I'm in the motherfucking boot going, eee! <laughs> can't hear me. I'm really going, eee! <laughs> then he finally, they going to kick a field goal. Uh-huh. He get on the field. I said, they going to eat. Field goal team. <laughs> and then, so if you ever really watch the field goal, they don't hit. He no, right, right. said, no, no. hike, grab. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, you don't move, I don't move, nigga. We get a check, we go on back to side. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need me twisting my ankle. Trying to you ain't going to block it. You ain't going to block it. You're not going to block it. The worst going to happen, he going to miss the field goal. Right. And then you blame the kick. That's wow. right. Yeah. Well, that was the uh, 13th. Uh, that was my 13th year in the league. Yeah. Uh, he never That's got a chance said. to He never got a chance to see the, the first 10 that I started At, uh, uh, every 
game. So uh, well, he, he to, loves to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> but don't get me wrong. He used to carry his pitcher with him. For well, our first meeting, y'all played with Hold on, homie. <laughs> and it showed him blocking somebody. I was like, oh, that's good. did you pose for this shit? I, I just had a I yeah, just before had, the internet. internet okay. I nigga had a Polaroid. Look, he went. Thanks, <laughs> <Hey, Spoon. laughs> baby. Who carries a Polaroid? Oh, no. Hey, you got to do what you got to do, player. <laughs> So wait a minute, just so kind of smart though, because he got to play and he's still healthy and he moved. Why did you stop playing? I was tired of playing. I wanted to do something else, like this show. So what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> so, is this, so is this what you do now? You yeah, guest star radio show? I do uh, radio. I'm radio and, and television. I work over at Fox and uh, do a so? radio show for Fox Fuck. and stuff like that. And I, uh, you here now? A, a movie entertainment company. So. I love it. Now, did you start that before Hold up, you nigga. stopped you playing You ain't just going to drop yes. that. Right, right. That's excellent. What? That's you have a very what? good. We a have a, a movie entertainment company. Now, what's you, that? We, you know the company. I'm, what company is that? It's, it's called Hidden Empire Film trying Group. Trying to find a joke in Oh, okay. Yeah. Hidden Empire is something yeah. in the title. Speedy, you Speedy knows. Here it come, trust me. He knows. <laughs> Two minutes, nigga. I'm going to set Speedy, this motherfucker on Speedy fire. knows. He'd be like, hey, yo, uh, you know I'm ready to work. What y'all got? <laughs> what y'all got going on over there? We, got he know movie. what's going on. He, he know we so, ain't playing over there. When I bring you my headshot. <laughs> 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 so, so you like being behind the scenes? I love it. I love being creative. So many, uh, for the most part of my working career, was all about the physicality of everything, you know, playing football and using your brute strength. And, of course, you have to be intelligent. The long, the smarter you are, the longer you play. Right. Um, but to be able to create, you know, off the field and then see something come to fruition is, I mean, it's Now, tremendous. tell them what position you play. I played offensive tackle, left tackle. So, uh, which you block it for the, for the quarterback, mm -hmm. opening holes. The blind side. Anybody seen the blind side movie, I played that position. Yeah, all right. Mm. So, who was – the toughest person you had to the block against the block defensive against. end. Yeah. Um, I usually at left tackle you play against the defense's highest paid player uh, and their best pass rusher. And I, Dwight Freeney was was the guy that I. Oh, I, right. I, hated. I know. Yeah. Did he get right. you? I know who that is. Oh, he got me now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For the first four years of his career, he did not get me. And then one day. Mm. Mm. It changed my life forever. <laughs> good Lord. I said, I don't even you, know what you to got do. With the spin, that spin that move. That spin move, man. Was. You know what? I was good on the spin. Oh, no, he's charismatic. Mm -hmm. He had all yeah. his energy. But when you start getting in the broadcast booth and you start doing that, like a lot of professional athletes have a problem making that jump into media, especially when you're an analyst and you're calling mm -hmm. games or doing the color for games because – now you have to be express like you have all the information mm -hmm. in your in your so it's easy or to make on that your, little piece of paper. Yeah, it's easy to make your body do those things. But when you have to talk about it when somebody else is doing it, it, it just doesn't come off. Now have you tried to do thing. the yeah. commentary? Uh, well I know you do. I've done it before. I've done I did I've done basketball. When oh, I was wow. when it's I was possible. when I was playing oh. for the is Denver uh possible? Broncos, I I had a deal with Fox Sports mm -hmm. and they let me call Fox Carmelo Bears. Anthony and LeBron Rocky James Mountain. first game against each other in Denver when they were both rookies. Uh -huh. I did the color. Oh, that okay. wow. that would be Rocky Mountain, right? <clears throat> hmm? Denver, Rocky Mountain, Fox Sports, yeah. Rocky Mountain. Yep, that's exactly yeah. right. Now, what's the process of, of you come, you being a former NFL player and you got to call a, a game? Well, I was up. actually still playing at the time. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I just had a, a tremendous call first. Caller, what's your name and where you calling from? Hey, this is Vernon from Chicago. Hey, hey Vernon. What's up, Happy Vernon? New Year, Vernon. Well, I'm yeah. basically, I'm saying Happy New Year, welcome back, and I'm liking the new streaming system. Oh, oh, okay, because yeah. everybody that, else was hating. I yeah. see it coming. Not that we now can do, do more this. and you know expand mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and be more do, be more stupid than what y'all are to begin exactly. with. Exactly. Yeah. Because our stupidness. Well, was not in the bad limited. way. I'm saying in the funny way. Because no. not in the bad way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you very much. So that's the purpose. So we but, got yeah, we got more you. things to do, and we'll be on iTunes uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks. You know, we got but, things. But playing. Vernon, we got the big comedy show happening in uh, Pleasanton at Tommy T's. Man, get your uh, ass on 19th, the plane. Twentieth, twenty first. Mm -hmm. It's going down. Yes, uh, nine comedians, three nights, five shows, one host, two strippers. Oh. Uh, and, <laughs> and a number 57 <laughs> uh, so yeah thank you man so definitely uh, if you li thank you for the phone call if you live in Oakland California or you just gonna come out there to check us out man you got three nights we're filming it live my man Javon again got behind us uh, Heritage 
music group. Music group, man. It's, it's just, again, my friend. <laughs> oh, he ain't tell me nothing about it. Really? No, I just saw it on, I saw it on, uh, uh, Instagram. Hey, everybody, this is Speedy. Your man Speedy. The show is funny. Hey, come on out to Tummy T's. Well, let's tell some of the comedians that's going to be on Speedy. Great. All right, so on Friday the 19th, we have, well, obviously Speedy's hosting. We have Jay Rich, Kelly From Kells, Oakland. who I've watched, who's freaking hysterical. Yeah, she's funny. And Brooklyn Mike. Brooklyn uh, Mike's beast mode. And then Saturday, January 20th, Speedy's hosting again, obviously. This is his thing, so. Kente. <laughs> Kente Scott Kente. is coming home. Uh, Stiletto. Oh, you got another Who is really, really funny. Stiletto is very, yeah, very she's funny. funny. Okay. And Drew Frazier. And then on the 21st, we Sunday. have... Kirk McHenry? McKenzie. McHenry. Is it McHenry? Yeah. A.G. White, who I've seen before. A.G. From New York. Uh, Yeah, Mm -hmm. and Cool Bubba Eyes. Who Bubba. Bubba. He's fucking funny. So that's who's going to be there. You guys come check us out. Um, I'm going to be there there, too. All of us will be there. And then also there is a special. If you go to our Eventbrite, you could get a two for one pretty much. You don't pay for it then. It's just what what, we'll add you to the list and they'll say, you know, roll out show when you get there. Then you'll just, you like, I think it's, Two for what? Ten dollars or whatever it is. Two for something. Yeah, something like that. Lap dances. Yes. And we're gonna be filming two for Tuesdays since you have filmed. But we'll talk. We are back. We are back. It is uh, the rollout show right here at uh, rolloutstudios.com. It's your boy Speed Doggy Dog, the funniest motherfucker you ever gonna meet. Allegedly. Yeah. Nikki Pam. And how sweet. And Javon Dog. Evie Evie Evie's in the building. Hey, hey. kicking it with us right now. Very talented comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I did yeah, just I see you on. Didn't I just see you on Team Z doing something? Yeah, yeah. I was you were on talking TMZ. about All Deaf Digital or something, right? Yes. Yeah. Nice. So, How'd that go? Oh, they try to trick you up. Boy. They do. They, they got do. a story for every story. But they you was you was be, dancing. Yeah, they, they they were supposed to only ask me about um female comedians, right. but boy, they turned that Russell situation. You know, that's what they wanted. Every time they had a question, uh, it was like, damn, do I? Oh shit! Ooh. But you ducked, you ducked, you died. It was it Dutch and died pretty good though. Ducked and died pretty so really. What good. happened? She was it. on TMZ you and you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my Pam is curling. Am I asking you what happened to her? Right here. <laughs> ask her. Let's try it again. And else we got? No. <laughs> <laughs> bullshit, right? I will not. No, what happened? Just went on TMZ to uh, promote being on all deaf comedy, and um. They said it was supposed to be about female comedians, female on empowerment. On oh, okay. yeah. Oh, they lied. Oh, they came what for was the, me. What was the question? Oh, it was just questions about Russell, but they of kept course. spinning it. They'll ask you the same question, but 10 different ways. And you'd be like, well, damn. Ooh, it was kind of hard. It was tough. That's what she said. Yeah. Anyway. She was very positive, <laughs> though. So, it. so was it like, does does Russell come? Is he, or is it, well, I guess that'd be the wrong thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, soon. Too soon. Oh, Don't shit. get her in trouble. <laughs> no, I met Russell before, and I met him at his house, and he was very nice. Mm. Um, Did he touch you? No, he didn't. Oh. Oh. But that's the, that's the type of question. That's the type of question. That's the type of question. That ain't the question I told you right here. He wasn't inappropriate at all. See, that's what they were yeah. trying that's to get good. at that. That's so good. you but did but meet he Russell. But he did <laughs> try to convince me that uh, Veggie Grill... Uh, Fake like vegan buffalo chicken yeah. tastes like real chicken, oh, and I was yeah. like, "Did you try it?" I lied to him and was like, "Yeah, it do taste like chicken," but I was like, "This shit don't taste nothing like, like chicken. chicken. Right. It's, it's horrible." Yeah, it is. Oh, had, that, so oh. after the chicken, did he touch you? <laughs> <laughs> that's TMZ. Uh, that's what you know what? Y'all football players getting called out too, so you need to be quiet. Oh, I'm left an and football right. Football player. I'm, I'm a member of society now. <laughs> Y'all all touching the same white lady that's doing wardrobe. Oh, did you see that? Alert. That was crazy, right? <laughs> Hey, but look, that you know what? They, they fired just, everybody. Right? They fired everybody. So when you're in it, what people now have to be aware of mm-hmm. is when you're in a situation like that, and you have had success in another field, and you go off into a, you know, another venture like you're a top athlete, and then you go into media. It's not a locker room, mm-hmm. and a lot of guys have a problem with understanding the stuff we talk about and the things we do in the locker room. You can't do that in a regular workplace. No, right. In the regular mm-hmm. world. Yeah, like, you can't we be were, slapping booties. We used booties to be in the and... production meeting, and it was a group of athletes, <laughs> see, and we were in there. that. I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> you try to, you try to act like you just Shower naked. You know, you know dropping over. soap and everything. Yeah, you, you know, like, each other. Once yeah. again, <laughs> this, is not, this is not prison. Good game, homie. Nigga, <laughs> this is not prison. That was my balls. As much as I love playing ball, I ain't like 
that showering together? I, well, I ain't do that. I do it either. You know, I, I got home to the shower. But when motherfucker hits you, good gang nigga, I'm on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> Coach didn't even call my name. Okay. <laughs> Or they do the rub, they hit you. You, with you got a slappable <laughs> ass. I seen this, Speedy. It, oh. It's like soft, but not too soft, but just like slappable soft. I was like, okay, it's <laughs> this is my favorite. do with that. <laughs> and in <laughs> other <laughs> news, <laughs> write that down. Let's get back to Russell. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> funny as hell. But, you know, I, I say that to say that it's a, it's a gap that you have to mm-hmm. be able to bridge that gap and realize we would be in production meetings, our pre production meetings, and it'd be. You know, female producers and stuff in there, and some of the stuff that was coming out of people's mouths. I was like, you might not want to say that, homeboy. You yeah. can't. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to realize, like, first of all, they're not on your team. They're doing their job. Yeah. So they don't want to be exposed to your views and how you feel, or whether it be misogynistic or sexist. You got to really keep that shit under wraps. And a lot of guys feel especially if it's a group of them, that they feel like, oh, we're in the locker room again, and then they venture into this world, and then the next thing you know, you know, you done brushed up on somebody's ass, and now they, you know, yeah, it's a situation. But when you were yeah. working for Fox Sports, and I'm sure they had a training, right? Like, uh, no. uh, they didn't? Of course, no, I worked no, for no, Fox no. for years, and we had to go every year to refresh. Girl. Well, I mean, no, it was everybody. Were you on air talent? No, I was working behind the scenes. See, so but, the, I mean, on but, our talent, we they just she was. This was put, you know. They just wrote, <laughs> uh, hey, a, a job is a job. I ain't, I'm not not doing that. Good. Let me ask you this: So I did Def Jam, the original one, back in the day. Did Russell uh, touch allegedly. you? <laughs> I'm just. Mm-hmm. We want to get to the bottom of the Russell thing. Okay, I ate some chicken. Okay. Look here. <laughs> so we need a story. We so, need a story. So, so I watched the uh, the ones now. And maybe it's just me. I don't know if you guys seen it or not. I it have. seems like it goes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and Speedy always tells us about the first time that he went up on stage and, you know, what happened and when he won. And we don't. We're yeah, not I sure wanted to bury a black comedy competition. I have the trophies in there. Yeah, he has the trophies. So <laughs> when, when. I got. Did, see, I have trophies. Hold on. Hold really on, hold know on. you were fun. I'm sorry. He's going to get into his story. I want to hear your story, but we got to listen to Speedy's story. It is his show. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Speedy. Tell us your story again. Go ahead. It was a one year event. <laughs> <laughs> One year, the barrier of comedy, and the funding ran out after the first year. It was four contestants. Oh, you don't hurt okay. Two of them was blind, and the other one <laughs> had one joke. And Speedy killed the room. He, yeah, Speedy, he, he you really at the age where you repeat stories. It, I can tell. It yeah. don't matter how you won. You won. You won. I won. <laughs> you know, all that fucking matter. They don't, they, that's why I wish I was like, because a lot of people don't know, and you know. When you're a, a part of a, a, a team, uh, NFL, NBA, everybody get a ring. Everybody. Get right. A ring. Yep. And so it don't matter. You can walk around, nigga. I ain't shoot one basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Do the cheerleaders get a ring? No. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. no. They better. They were one of football players. They barely get paid. Yeah. yeah. So they have like $20. Like, they like $20 like a game. $25 a game. $50 a game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. All that they get paid yeah. a little more for appearances. Yeah, Jack, that's yeah. where they make their money, where they go appearances. do a... You know, a, do a calendar or do a like yeah, they just hoping to get pregnant with some sperm. Like that. That's where the real money comes in. Yeah, but you got to have yeah. a job if you're gonna be a cheerleader. Like yeah. you got to go to work. Yeah. <laughs> right? After you get up, yeah, and team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want two fries? Cool. Right? <laughs> be interesting to see how many cheerleaders went from being a cheerleader to like being on camera no. or something like that. Well, there, I know one of the Bachelorettes did. She used to, well, she was for the Miami Heat. She was a cheerleader for Miami Heat. There's been a couple. That, oh, oh uh, Paul Abdul, duh. And oh, the girl yeah. that's okay, on Atlanta's Housewives, Which Real one? Housewives of Atlanta. Paul she's not the main one, no. but she's, um, she you know, no she's rhythm. Portia's friend. Cheerleader. Oh, oh, yeah, that's yeah, my girl, Atlanta the, Hawks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm. Shamia. Shamia. Yeah, Shamia, Atlanta, Atlanta Hawks. Speaking of the Hawks, it is. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what, what church y'all go to where y'all got a comedy show in the middle of the service? Um, uh, it was a Faithful Central. Central. Yeah. Does it? They really? have a comedy yeah. night. Like, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Deacon yeah, Jones. It, last time I, the last time I did a church, like some of the, I didn't like it because it was very judgmental. Really? And some mm. of the members came up to me, approached, well, we think this joke. And I told oh. one girl, I said, I said, oh. She she told me something she didn't like my joke or something like that. It was kind of like I said, "Oh, is that your baby?" She said, "Yeah." I said, "How old is your baby? Two years old." I said, "Are you married?" She said, "No." I said, oh, "Okay, then don't tell me about my comedy." Damn, oh. Oh. Real talk. Real talk. There's right. a joke right there. Because it's You're like right. don't come for people in your life unless you just but living in the, the life of they heaven. They do it all the time. Right. Yeah, right. And but without yeah. sin, then don't tell me how to talk. There was a church. Baby had a wedlock. 
a baby out of wedlock. Yeah. Yeah. Good lord! I didn't doing, know who the baby daddy was. I was doing a club <laughs> in, <laughs> in <laughs> Oakland. <laughs> you, you, and the pastor was in the in the. He was at the club, so okay. he sees me. And he goes, "Yo, can you come to my church?" I was like, uh, "Yes, you, you gonna pay? I, I'll stick around and do it." And it was so he told me to come back. It was Easter Sunday morning, so before they it bought the, bought him out, they did the choir. Then he said, "Hey, we gonna you know have you was an opening act for a pastor pretty much wow, on Easter crazy. Sunday morning." Wow, wow. you the man. Sunday, fifteen hundred. Wow. That's mm. Easter Sunday. And and he gave me the check. I went, "Okay, I'm leaving now." <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a cash it here because I, I want that back. straight out of the collection plate. Right. Hey, man, no yeah, you don't got choices. It's don't from choices. God. It's yeah. surprising. <laughs> but yeah. And and she's absolutely fucked. <laughs> I, we worked together. The first time I saw you was at the uh with Cedric. Oh yeah. At uh what you call him after the that, little yep. the little mishap. Anyway, you was funny as fuck. Thank you. You was funny. That, that was a fantastic room, Flappers in Burbank. Mm. So Flappers ain't a black comedy club. It's a no, white it's club. not. Okay. But they not with that. You name. know, over there on uh, <laughs> Flappers, <laughs> right? The first, and, you know, so you see a bunch of Magnolia. brothers sitting around, okay. like, "Yo, what's up, man? What's up with the damn nigga? What y'all doing tonight, man? Oh, we're going to Flappers." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that club. don't sound right. <laughs> so uh, a lot of the, uh, pretty much all the comedy clubs around the country that are white. They have to have a black night. Otherwise, they don't su- survive. They don't make money. They don't make mm. no money. They we make are money. the entertainment. Yeah. But they won't tell us that. But they oh, know no. they need And it. did you hear about years ago when they used to double the prices on the drinks during yeah. black night? Yeah. Because uh, black people are the top consumers store. in the United comedy States store. of America. We spend the most money. Yeah. Uh, on yeah, on the did. regular days, the drinks were $6. When it was uh, Monday nights is the black night, it was 14 More better Monday? More better 14. Monday. It was $14. Wow. Yeah. And it was two drink minimum. You had to buy two drinks. Wow. Ain't nobody no water. You can buy somebody next. You don't drink. You buy somebody next to you, but you had to buy two drinks. Wow. That's how they get you. Anyway, mm, mm, I'm done. You can. All continue. right. It is now time for. <laughs> you like this? <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. Bam. No, no. Okay. It's probably. Well, can I ask a question? while you making that work? Uh, I had a question too. Yeah, go right in. Go ahead, tap you. Well, my question is: Did you know that Jupiter and Saturn reigns diamonds? Wow. Well, shit! Wow. I need to catch a ride. <laughs> catch a fly. I can come back and come up. That's better than selling uh uh cocaine. Yeah, and they big Hollywood diamonds too. Go ahead. What's your question, Joe? So my question was: um, Have you ever dealt with a situation uh, where someone did not pay you? Ooh. Oh yeah, that's common. They set you up. They gave you 50 percent deposit. No, you only get the fifty. Over? Oh, but see, see, I've been blessed to kind of work in with, like, I have a college agent, so those shows is going to be, the money is going to be there, gotcha. guaranteed. You get what I'm saying? Okay. And then I went on tour, tour with a lot of big names. So they're going to pay you. Like, Cat right, right. Williams, Martin, they all going to pay you. Cedric, like, mm-hmm. they'll pay me after the show. So I never really had those problems. See, I won't do a lot of shows if it pertains to, like, a lot of travel and stuff. Unless, because, I guess because I started out on such big tours and stuff like that in colleges, is that um, somebody, this just happened to me. I lost $300 um, Saturday. The guy wanted me to come down there, which I don't even work for that rate, but... I was like, okay, but I can just work on my new material. I'll just go there literally for an hour and just work on everything new that I have. And he wouldn't send me the hotel information, told me I'll get it when I got there. Mm. And I'm a woman. I'm not going to show up to a city. I don't know where I'm staying. I need to fact check to make sure it's a decent hotel, if it's clean, if it's in a decent area. You just, it's a lot of things. I'm not going to go there and be in some rapey ass hotel in town <laughs> or where people done been fucking all night on the bed and now I'm rolling and rolling and come on. You know, I'm not going to do that. Is this Hotel Russell? Oh, 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 I'm not gonna do our show. Trust me, he ain't gonna do this shit. He might so, have. No, I, so he, I he, he didn't want to send the information. He wasn't sending the uh, itinerary uh, talking about he had a hookup. I said, well, you I don't stay with him. Well, that wasn't gonna happen. He was gonna pick you up. He was gonna be like, yeah, I got a room down in the basement. He be like, uh. Well, see, I got. I always have money if if stuff like that happens. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not. I'm gonna just say that's this is the new comics. Oh yeah. I. But oh, you had a to man. deal with all that. We had to deal with all that. We had Is to deal Melanie with... doing that? I'm going to call and ask. No, Mel, that she was probably back did in the day. Back, back in the day. day. Yeah. Now, things yeah. have gotten a lot better. Yeah. But back in the day, you would actually get to the town, and the dude, and he go, Yeah, uh, apparently Steve Harvey in town this week. Because it would be five people. And uh, can I talk to you over here? When they hit, you say that, the money ain't over. And so mm. you, you either have a choice of whooping his ass. 
or take that L or say, okay, I'm going to bounce or you've are pretty much, you've already done the show. So it's not like you going, what do you do? So uh, there's so many, I've had so many stories when it, the promoter didn't have the money or something didn't happen. My mama said, yeah, this is the first time that, this situation ever of, happened to me. To me. And it'll, it'll be the last time. Yeah. They're going to have to send me my money and pay for the flight up front. Yeah. I lost the money on the flight and I'm just like, Whatever. Yeah, that's that's, that's 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 part of the what we have to go through. But it's gotten better because you were able to say, "Well, now I stay home." Back in the day, you were just so hungry. I want to go. I need right. to show you because you didn't have the, the these outlets. You didn't have any, yeah. yeah. Now yeah. you got Cash App. You got you know you can get your money mm-hmm. like yeah, quickly yeah. and and you can worse. post a video of yourself on yeah. the internet. So. All right, it is now time for. Oh my God! It <laughs> Sports. Shut up. <laughs> uh got the NFL player in the building, so you know, maybe y'all want to tune out. Woody woo. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna return some checks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, now now Tangie gonna fuck it up. Trust me. I'm dude. not because we're gonna be talking about talking real about. Foot- Oh. And you the two speak. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I'm just talk about the elephant in the room, which is everybody's uh, upset at the Raiders. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> upset at the Raiders. Okay. For giving <laughs> All that money. A hundred million dollars. Right. Ten year, hundred million dollars. Yeah. John Gruden hasn't coached in ten years. Shocking. Ooh. What do you think? You're a player. And you, you was in the league. And not that y'all have a voice, but let's say you do now. Well... Before this, I mean, this is an unprecedented yes. contract. Like yeah. coaches didn't get paid like that. Yeah. You know, they got some nice it's, checks, it's, but, they but it's no that. players that have ten-year deals in the NFL. No. So when you when you look at a situation like this, so that money doesn't count against their salary cap, mm-hmm. right? So all the other coaches in the league are excited because oh, yeah. with oh. the turmoil and the, and and the stuff that just came out uh, last week about. What's going on in New England? Is Bill Belichick, who's considered to be one of the greatest coaches to ever coach, if he decides to leave, if John Gruden, who won one Super Bowl and one. hasn't coached in ten years, can't get paid like gets that, ten mil, a uh, hundred million, uh, ten million a year, a hundred million dollars, guaranteed. In ten years, guaranteed. Then the rest then of us coming up. What is Bill Belichick worth? Yeah, a half a billion dollars. Well, right. you know what it really right? says is how much. Are the owners really raking in that you can I mean, even think about? Well, you got to be a, a multiple <laughs> times billionaire to own a team anyway. It's a mm-hmm. process that you have to go through to and even you have qualify. To get approval for all right, the all the other the owners I never knew have that to look at your money yeah. and be like, okay, he got enough money mm. right? wow. to, to join us. To, to join us, that's the process. So, all if a team is up for sale, all thirty-one owners. Uh, aside from the the owner who's selling the team, have to agree wow. that you can right. buy the team and be a part of the team. It, it takes a long process, about a six month process, and so they got the money now. Don't when they start talking all that sh- shit in the in the season about oh profits are down and the NFL is the number one show yeah. on five networks. Right. I tell Period. Wow. Right. So mm-hmm. whether advertisers are. Are, are balking about people or the viewership is down 10% or whatever, the prices for advertisers don't change. Yeah. Because whoever is watching is more than any other thing on at the same time. Right. right? So th- that's a premium. Super Bowl ads for 30 seconds, four, five, six million dollars. And so, as players, you guys don't see any of that, right? No, we have a collective bargaining agreement. So we have uh, uh, collective sharing, I- I'd say, where merchandise... Your Things jersey. like that. Well, what's your jersey? Any 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 player's jersey is 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 broke up between all the players in the league. So oh, all the jersey sales, wow. stuff like that. Really? All of us, we get a, a, a portion of that. Now it's not a large portion. How many jerseys of yours did they sell? <laughs> <laughs> Zero. This is the same dude who was begging me for a jersey. Hey yo, e, you got that jersey, man? I, I really want to get that jersey. I want to put it. I want to put it on my wall, well, man. No. Can you sign it? You want can, you, sign? can you sign? I want to put it on my wall. Hey, E, Pam, texting right. me, calling me. Remember, he I'm was, just saying he was 300 pounds, so I was gonna use that as a pillowcase. <laughs> oh, or just a regular shirt. I, I, oh. Oh. Either one. I mean, either one. It, 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 we shouldn't be the jokes. same. All right, you're five nine and a quarter. No, I'm six feet. I'm, you're six who? Stop, yeah, Stop. Six. You keep saying that. You're not six Prove feet, it. man. 
Six you know, feet. That's so cute. You 75 years old talking about your six feet. You know what I mean? What we not gonna, what we not gonna do? I'm just saying, it's Wait your show. Minute. I don't so I don't want to talk. You see, a, a, you read this I don't want to talk. You don't see you Ephraim bad. on there. No, we, but we can that. switch shirts right now, <laughs> and you can fit mine, and I can fit your shirt. I'm six eight. You figure it out. So anyway, <laughs> back to John. Oh. Oh. Uh, back to that contract. I hate you. Uh, it, it's, it's just a, it's a contract that you know in four years. If Oakland isn't satisfied with John Gruden and they, they want to go a different direction, they still owe him sixty million dollars. Oh wow! On top of whatever oh, so they that's have to pay the next money. coach, right? Wow. So you look at this contract and you're like, okay, well, it may not work out, but Oakland is synonymous with making deals like that. They do things like that. They draft guys that have no business being drafted, and certain just because. They have a certain look, or if they're fast, they may not be able to catch, throw, any of that. Yeah, a lot just, of dudes wasn't catching this weekend. Yeah, that's true. God, that's true. I, it, was it was so all, was sad all, was watching. Terrible. Did you watch? The, Buffalo I'm Jacksonville just, game just, set uh, sorry, TV sorry, back a hundred years. He's in the studio. Oh. Like that game should have just literally been on radio. Okay, yeah, the the cool. Titans game, which it was a uh, no, no, no. No, it was the, the Buffalo Buffalo Jaguars. Jaguars. I turned awful. it off. That was the worst shit. I I I'll start cleaning up. Me it, too. It, I said I can't watch this. But it, it goes to show you how important a real quarterback is to a team. Yes. Yes. Like you, it, it's very hard. I think a real to be successful. Is important. Oh, it, it has to be. Run the ball. But not a real quarterback. A good because no, they're all real quarterback. quarterbacks. But a, a, a decent quarterback. Yes. Right. Speaking a, of, uh, but the game I did like uh, was the Titans game. Believe, believe it or not, the Chiefs should have won that game. Well, they they synonymous for having these type of, of letdowns. Yeah, yeah we they, can't talk about what should have happened. They did. Yeah, they they do this all the time. Alex Smith, <laughs> no matter how good of a quarterback he is in the regular season, he's only two and five in the playoffs. Is he gone? Oh uh, yeah, he's done. He's he's, he's done. He's done in uh, Kansas City. You really think so? Yeah, yeah. He'll but he you know what? He'll be either in Jacksonville, he'll be in New York. There's plenty of places that'll that'll thrive with an Alex Smith, but he's limited. Right? Tony Romo's good quarterback. Get to the playoffs. Hell no. Limited. That's just how it was. Under Hell pressure. No. Right? It's just you you know, they they but it's not it's not just Alex Smith, because his numbers were good in that game. It's a play calling. It's you know, Andy Reid, he's a, a, a tremendous coach, a lot of success. But but you know, you get to the playoffs, he falters a little bit. <laughs> Every time. I'm sorry. What she in it? She went. She, she right. Don't don't don't, don't, don't go for that. No, that's fool's gold. Right. That's fool's gold okay. right now. As well, no, yeah. soon as I said, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. What the? <laughs> but uh, and I thought the Saints game, Panthers. God damn, man. I was pulling for you. Well, See, I was my number one. The, the the problem is, and the controversy is now. Did Cam Newton should he have gone back in the game after he took that hit? No. Uh, because to me, it looked it like he have. was concussed. Gosh, he was out. Uh, and they keep showing the clip when he was running to the sideline and then sat down and said it was his eye. But he caught himself in the press conference afterwards because he was talking about, yeah, it was an eye problem. I had thought I got poked in the eye, but I have a visor on. It's impossible for someone to get poked in the eye <laughs> through your helmet, through your visor. So he has a, a visor so covering his eyes. So you don't think he should have been in the game? No, 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 because he clearly... Uh, was concussed uh, after that hit. You saw it right when it happened. He really didn't have his bearings. Mm -hmm. He decided he was going to try to jog off the, the field. Coach told him yeah, to get down, that. get down. Yeah. And then he came right back into the game. So that's under investigation by the league because and it's, it goes against all of the protocols that they put in place to stop So it's the people like that, that were there that should have stopped it. That's Absolutely. Yeah, so who would be at fault? The coach or the... It, it, it would be the organization. They probably <laughs> get fined. The... I care, Speedy. <laughs> You it, see what you I'm see doing? care in my eyes? I care. It'll be the, or, it'll be the organization. <laughs> I, I apologize. It, it'll be the organization. It'll be the organization and whoever the independent neurologists were who were working that game who monitor that type of, uh, of you know, activity. Because okay. they're supposed to be independents. Yeah, they're not supposed the to have anything to do with the league. Where if it's oh, if they're with the back team, in the day, oh, it was up to the in. team doctor, and the yeah. team doctor was beholden to the head coach. So, so if the head coach come over and be like, "Hey, we need we him need in there," he'd put him he'll in. come to you, wave his hands in front of your face, and be like, "He's he, ready to go." He's good. Put he, you back in could there. you not slap me? I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> okay, uh, you hit me, and 
He almost okay. died. He's heavy handed. He's very. Oh, very. Okay. You he heavy he bodied the- though. <laughs> <laughs> it, should go, it should go together. Like, I'm going to stop talking about you, man, because I want you to have me back on your show. And uh, I don't want to. Don't you know, laugh over Don't worry. Right. The, 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 the end friends will uh, get you back. Okay. Daph, you're going to be right here. Right, let's move on. Come on. Uh, <laughs> look, she's like, good. They don't right. pay. They don't. So they're tonight, not paying you nothing. So no. you, I don't know if you. That, don't that, discuss that, that. my pay. You okay, don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, be quiet. No, I don't want people out here to know what I'm doing. Okay, well, now tonight, yes, championship game for college. Yes. We have uh, Alabama. Uh, roll Tide. Hate uh, against Georgia. Why do you hate Alabama. You ain't been to Alabama. You ain't know it. From Alabama, what do you have against Alabama? It just sounds. It just sounds like you go down there and call the big word. word. Roy I mean. Moore. He, yeah. They almost oh, elected Roy Moore, so that soured kind of yeah. all but black people on on, yeah. on Alabama. Like, Alabama's <laughs> not on my list where I need to. I've been to Me? Alabama. Alabama was actually the place I've been there too. We went there when the the guy wouldn't let the the old they had an old limo driver. And oh, with Jamie. He wouldn't let Jamie in the car. Because the promoter, so oh, we go yeah. to the radio station, and we got to do radio that morning. So the promoter told the guy, don't let anybody in the car till, till I get back. Tell him, him. So he's like, okay, cool. We come back, we get the car. Fox gets done. It's early. It's about 7 in the morning. We're doing radio. It's about 8 or 9. And the guy said, how you doing? And he said, we got to get in the car. Yeah, that sounds nice. But Mr. Uh, uh, Kyle Newport not here. Now, as soon as he get here, I'll let you on the car. Jamie was like, yeah, that's fine, man. Let us in the car. I'm tired. I'm, just, I'm tired. Yeah, Mr. Fox is good. They're, they're tired. <laughs> but uh, Cal Newport said you can't get in the car till he get here. <laughs> so I said, man, go to I hate my man. We got to get in the car. And I mean, he had the keys in his pocket. Yeah, that sounds great. You need speedy? <laughs> that's Mr. Speedy. <laughs> Mr. Cal Newport said <laughs> till he get here. Came up, and he went the whole motherfucking way. And we stand out there, and Fox started to cuss him out. These, and I mean, gave him both bear. And that old man said, "That sounds great, Mr. Fox." <laughs> <laughs> but until Cal Newport get him, <laughs> can't get in the car. Cause he didn't want it to be a hanging the next week. <laughs> motherfucker, man, Fox said, "You ain't gonna never work." He said, "Well, I may not work again, sir, but you will not get in this car." <laughs> and, Cal, and then Cal came. He's like, "Why is Jamie not in the car?" He said, "Well, I'm waiting on you, sir." Oh wow! And we didn't man. go back to Alabama ever again. Oh, wow. I'm not looking for Al. But anyway. He's going for I, I his sixth natural national title. Hey, that's funny. Google is a, is a motherfucker. <laughs> <ain't it? Look. laughs> yep. And Saban, the coach, in case you didn't know that. Saban? That's crazy. Who's Saban? Isn't that a No, no, name? just let it ride out. Please let <laughs> it ride out. Alabama's. You, you mean Alabama's Nick Saban? <laughs> no, I want it to ride out. That's what I meant. I wanted that well, motherfucker. You know, uh, He's not Cuban. I call him by his name. Uh, uh, <laughs> what is Saban? Saban. <laughs> Saban. What is Saban want to do? Saban is going to be going up against his former defensive coordinator, Kirby Smart. Right, like you he know, was Kirby's last done a year. Lot for Georgia. <laughs> so they really want to. Oh, yeah, just. I, oh, so that's all I got. You. <laughs> was it Joseph Goodman? Joseph Goodman? <laughs> What? John Goodman's brother? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Joseph you, Goodman. I want to go back to Sabat. I had to grab a name. See, right here. Just, just. You are something else, boy. <laughs> She's so really anyway. over there Google. She quit ESPN. Quit. Now, she quit now, quit. now, we're talking about what coaches make and the play. Yeah. I, I think college ball, they so wrong. It's wrong. It's two left yeah, seats. Them that. colleges make a game billions. Of money. It's billions yeah. of dollars. Off it's these a, it's, young men's lives. They have more yes. seats filled in the NFL sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And, and way more loyal fans. And too. more what? Seats, Seats filled. filled. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. And and all this money, these now the schools are going to make money. The coaches are going to make money. The players, no. Mm-hmm. Do you think that'll ever change? Uh, eventually, it will. The thing they try to hold over your head is that well, they get in their education paid for, right? Oh, that's mm. big. But the the problem is My no money actually for. changes hands, mm. right? Oh. So if you give a kid a scholarship. It's not like you're handing over fifty, sixty, hundred thousand dollar check to the university on his behalf to pay for his schooling. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. So it doesn't cost them anything to give a scholarship. Oh. But depending on that player and that team or whatever sport they play, they bring in, they generate billions and billions yeah. of dollars. Billions. I knew one right? uh, student athlete. He said that he was on the football team. Um, and that, you know, he's he's a big guy, like 300 pounds. He was like, you know, sometimes they go hungry. Oh, you definitely go hungry. Because you're they don't even have plan. enough money to eat. You're on because a meal you, you 300 yeah. can't eat like I'm eating. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, like, they don't feed them. Seem like they want well, you, to keep you're them. on a meal plan. That's why they start taking money from the boosters. It, well, yeah, that's yeah. true. You're mm-hmm. on a meal plan, and 
you don't you're not allowed to work because you have a scholarship. That's so ridiculous. you can't have a job because they don't want you to go to school, have a job, and play sports. Right? Can't they take any to, endorsements. They don't want to spread you too thin or anything like that. So, but they'll sell your jersey in the student yeah. store. They'll you know profit off your likeness. Um, wow. Put you in video games. Eventually, yeah. the vid- everything. Eventually, it's, it's going to change. We see the shift in it now. Um, people what, are revisiting what college it. College did you go to? I went to San Diego State. Okay. And then it was just an article I just read recently how ninety over ninety five percent of the players are black, but it's no coaches in the big top ten schools. No. I don't think it's one black coach. Wow. Well, black coaches you know, on any level, it, it's yeah. very few. But like they said owners, top ten schools, like the big that, ones, it's not one. And that was the yeah, other reason too. People were mad at at the um, Raiders because the whole process is that you're supposed to give everybody a shot for that job. Like, mm-hmm. okay, we have a job opening, and it's, you have everyone rule. come in. They they go, oh, hey, this is what I would do. Okay, next guy, black, white, whatever. You for have them to, just to go. We not even doing the process. You got the job. Well, that's what well, Oakland does. I got, does. I got a question that. with with I don't know if you're talking about that same coach or not, but but with the NFL. They don't guarantee like if a, like if you playing football and mm-hmm. they say I'm going to pay you this amount of money and then you get hurt you don't get the rest of your okay, money right so it'll go like this say I did a four year sixty million dollar deal okay right and my Let signing me hold bonus <laughs> <laughs> my signing bonus was thirty two million okay right that's the money I'm guaranteed okay all right or upfront money or whatever you want to call it so no matter what happens bless you no matter what happens i'm guaranteed 32 million dollars okay whether you do good or not get her okay so in my second year of that four-year deal if they're like eh, it's not working out blow or i blow my knee out and i can never play again you at least um, get 32. i got the 32 million but the rest of the portion of the 28 million it's that's just gone. But, but the problem with these coach that they just hired. Yeah, they don't fall under the coaches don't fall under, under the same yeah. guidelines as players. Players' contracts are not guaranteed. Coaches' contracts are guaranteed. NBA oh. players guaranteed. Yeah. Baseball, baseball super guaranteed. Hockey, yeah, oh, yeah. baseball. Yeah, that's, 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 they said that's the no, best one. Best Parents. sport is yeah, baseball. baseball. But Parents, you remember back picture. in the day, a lot of black children played baseball. I was talking mm-hmm. to an older baseball player, mm-hmm. and he said that his goal was to try to get black children back into baseball yeah. because it is the highest highest paying sport. sport. Yeah. You're less likely to get hurt. True. But remember, we had the whole Negro League and yeah. everything, mm-hmm. black kids. Yeah. And for some reason, I feel like it's propaganda that they're pushing football off on these young boys because it's the most dangerous sport in the lead and mm. all of a sudden it's just like really being widespread on these young boys at such a young age it, like what happened to baseball it, what happened to other sports baseball soccer soccer it's not sexy that's the mm. bottom line right oh. as a kid a I, up. let me tell you football wait, 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 not sexy i can't see up. your face oh, then you pull off your mask you ugly about, as hell I'm <laughs> football players. it ain't sexy i'm not talking about sexy to you <laughs> <laughs> But what's sexy about yeah. football is the Your money. guys rubbing together ain't sexy. It's the money, <laughs> right? So uh, wait a minute. Can you I just say that? You shape oh, like oh, a video oh, vixen. Those oh, thighs oh. rubbing together. What? You shape like a video vixen. Oh, oh, ain't sexy. God. I saw one guy on the team. He was a thick bitch. You hear me? I got excited. I'm sorry. No different. Well, y'all like, is, this? is that Amber Rose? That's the joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's just number 32. I was like, oh, okay. That's fucking funny. He's a bad bitch. That was the good joke. No, fuck. He's shaped I'm like a video fixer. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, funny as fuck. I went to the worst Super Bowl party ever in my life. We go, and I don't really like to go to other people's thing. I like to have be at my shit. So I get talked into going to somebody else's shit. And it was some girl there. She's like, ooh, they got ass. I said, hold on, bitch. No, no, no. <laughs> she was like, what? So we I not can't look at the ass. I said, no, not doing the fucking Super Bowl. So, <laughs> so we're literally brothers trying to watch the game going, Shit! Uh, <laughs> uniforms is too tight. This is but the I was saying sexy in terms sexy, of a yeah. young kid looking to see what oh, it, yeah, it they get, not do. in the eyes of a woman like oh he's sexy girl. Now, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking right. about growing up. Ev- everybody I knew wanted to go to the NBA, mm-hmm. or they wanted to go to the NFL. NFL. Yeah. That's what it was. So yeah, when but you that, look at baseball, something that's pushing that off on these children. Well, well baseball is boring. Well, right? It is so for, yeah. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. for kids, like you won't even go to a baseball game. Uh, I've been to baseball games. I've been to no hitters. I'll go for the dog. I was looking dog. for a husband, no but hitters. I was there. See, so don't right, you say exactly. where I you went on a date. Go. No, I'm just right. well, my but son for, played for baseball, kids, it was like, oh my but God. For kids, I, I was on the golf team, so I know boring. So for kids, especially in the African American community, you grow up, you're watching, you know, 
football players you've seen yourself. You're watching yeah. basketball players you've seen yourself. You see and them then you start that, yeah. working on those skills. Every kid pretty much starts playing baseball and soccer when they're two, three years yeah. old because yeah. those are the sports you can play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But as you get older, the interest dwindles. I was just having yes. a conversation with um, a, a good friend of mine played a long time uh, in Major League Baseball. He's trying to start an initiative to bring baseball, create this academy to take it around to inner city uh, youth to let them know, hey, look, People just aren't teaching them baseball. Yeah. Mm. They're not understanding the value of a baseball player, the longevity of a career, right. and what you it's just not prominent in our communities. And that's because football is fast, it's fun, it's flamboyant. It basketball, yeah. you get to dunk on somebody, you scream in their face. Mm-hmm. Those are the things that attract inner city kid because they want to be popular, right? right. Yeah, you black people had to say where we want to be famous. But we in just high want school, to shine. they you playing baseball games game. at 1 o'clock on Wednesday. Yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. at the baseball game. Ain't no yeah. hoes at, yeah. at the baseball game. Everybody at the football game. The hoes is at the baseball game. I mean, the basketball, game. basketball and the football game. So it's a, yeah. it's a cultural thing. That's, and I, that's just I played baseball, and I'm very good at it. Yeah, of course. But let you tell But here's the thing now is that now they go over. You're good at every sport. Pretty much. They go overseas or they go to other countries and find the men that look like us. And we think that oh he's black until they get on the microphone. They go well. How well do they you are do? of African descent. Yeah, but they not us. So True. they get on the mic. And they go I hit the ball. I go around the bed. I hit the ball. And you're like no, I ain't what I asked you. Uh, you I pitched say, the how old are you? I, I hit the ball. <laughs> yeah, I go around the bed. I hit the ball. Yeah, but I, I but, love baseball. But it's something that the Major League Baseball is really uh, working on. They I sure identi- hope so. They identify the problem. And it's going to take players or ex-players to really get together mm-hmm. and, and get show these, these kids, kids mm-hmm. uh, it's another way. It's a, it's another way. And I think a lot of kids, a lot of people in the inner city would have more success if they got their children into the right sport. Some of these kids, you look at the kids, Poppy. the mother yeah. and the father is 5'2". This damn kid, the, even the average NFL player is 6'1". They said the average height is 6'1", right? And then the NBA is what, like 6'4", 6'5"? Mm-hmm. So you 5'2", you, you five two, you, the baby daddy 5'2", the kid going to be 5'4", tops. Baseball is the perfect sport. Right. Now you got him out here on the a football soccer. team, and this little nigga ain't never going to make it. He going he go, he go, he to be a raisin in the sun. A raisin in the sun. 6'1". This, this, is, what, this is what I tell kids. Yeah, he was 6'1". This is what I tell kids. He's going to be tall, though. This is what I tell kids. I say, hey, look, man. Never let anybody tell you what you can and can't do. If you're smaller than everybody else, be faster than everybody else. Right? If, but let's be if you're real, not tall, that's why everybody if, if, if don't have tall, ability. Right? right? Shoot the lights out. Right? If you score 40 a game and can't nobody stay in front of you, then it doesn't matter your height. Look at Isaiah Thomas. He scored 28 points a game last year. Right. right? With a bad right. hit. He, he's five. Fine. Nine and a quarter. And him and Speedy yeah. about the same height. Right? <laughs> but the fact Speedy that... Speedy shorter. Is, and you look at it like, well, that's one, that's one <laughs> in, you know, however many, uh, one in, out of 700 or whatever it is. It's like, yeah, but you can't tell a kid who has those dimensions as he's younger that he can't do that, that he can't be that one. It's all about what you want to put into it. Because Muggsy was 5'3". Oh, my God. But you guys... Okay, I always... Well, people can always say one person, but can you name Google Smalls NBA player. I need 18 more to prove a point. I, I need at least many. 20 for you to prove a point. Robinson. I ain't got that many, but if I got one, then that's enough for you to dream. So if there's any of you little short people out there watching that want to play basketball. Itty little, itty little people if you're five, Because there have been four a lot 11. of people that told me that I couldn't do what I do because I got nappy hair. You mean comedy? I'm doing it. You mean comedy? Not that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, she tried. Not. She tried. She tried. Yeah, I did. Go ahead. Okay, so. got booed. This is this is what I was always curious about. I always like to study other people's business models. Mm-hmm. Now, I never understood how the licensing works for a football player because obviously you've been on Madden, right? So how how does that work licensing wise, or or is there a license? No, it, it's a licensing deal, and okay. all players get a portion of that nice. for every okay. game, every the, sale, the, every sale. Oh, nice. You know, we like are, you get a check in the mail. So you get a yeah, we get a check the, from the retail. Oh. We, like, so it's what, like what actors like? with residuals. We get a check. So what we had to do was. <coughs> Part of our collective bargaining agreement, we have a union. So okay. we have, you know, mm-hmm. NFLPA, NFL Players Union, uh, Players Association, and they negotiate on our behalf. They come around, they talk to all the players. This is what we want to do. We want to sign this huge licensing yeah, deal. Like we'll all get a check from that licensing deal, and you continue to get that check every year and even two years after you finish playing. Um, mm-hmm. But once you start playing, that check stops and all oh, of that. Wow. But but that's just but how it is. Still in the game. 
Right, but so mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. it used to be two. It used to be the NFLPA, and then uh, it used to be the quarterbacks club, where most of the high paid quarterbacks, uh, Dan Marino, Joe Montana, they had their own thing. They wanted to do their own licensing deal. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, so they wanted the money to come directly to them, and eventually that got folded into the NFLPA. Together, we're stronger. As, so as, what's as, what's as a check like that might look? Like, like it's like it's like it's like ten grand a year. Like ten, it's like ten grand a year. But, well, but, it's, but it's it may be more scale, now. Right? No, everybody gets paid the same. Oh, okay. everybody gets paid so the same. So let's say um, if if you if your jersey sells, nobody buys my jersey, and everybody buys your jersey, we all get the same. Really? Yeah. I don't like so that. So we'll just put it the other way. Well, that's a union. Nobody buy your jersey. But you get all the money. It's a union. That's you part of the union. So that's if right. you have a lawsuit or a grievance against your team or the league, then the union, we have a war chest that will fight, help fight your battle. We'll pay the expenses we and we'll fight your actors, battle. We have that two actors, the Screen Actors okay. Guild. Well, that's what it is. It's the same that, thing. But if you star in the movie, we don't get the same amount of money. And yeah, that's right, not, right. you know, unless you're doing. We don't get doing, the same uh, payout. Favorite Nations or whatever it's called. Uh, but that's crazy because I remember years fun. ago when Ocho Cinco had changed his name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, they said his um, jersey sales went out the roof. Yeah. I'd be pissed that I was only getting 10000 for making such an impact on sports like that where I did something so phenomenal that it, it – So the, the thing would be if you I want my 10000 If you, you weren't part of the union, then you couldn't use your likeness. Yeah. Oh. Right? So you can't use – you play in a system. The NFL is your boss no matter what team you play on. Right. The NFL is your boss. So if you be like, I don't want to do that. You can't use my likeness. And I say, oh, okay. Well, you can't use it either. Gotcha. Right? Oh. So you can't put your jersey so it's, on so and it's go truly sell it. slavery, right? Well, you, you can so call you it what you want. It's because a, it's like, thank you. I get this 10 million. Well, no, it's a business well, model, right? So if you, if you have a – you understand. Yeah, if you have a league, you're not going to let the people in your league go off and profit off of your league. Yeah, right. You're just yeah. not gonna do that. It's their platform, yeah. Like yeah. I can't sell a rollout shirt with Tangi on the back without Speedy getting his. Yeah, club. you can't go sell the shirt <laughs> with, with his show on. Like if we're all if we're all part of the show, right? We're all part. Of, but it, it's, it's he's the owner. He, of yeah, the he's show. touching you again. He's touching you. He's just touching you. Stop. Just now. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. seen it. If you need to put a lawsuit well, in. Well, E, I've never been hit. You ain't never had a massage. I play. Hey. 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 That's not right. Okay, I'm sorry. Pause. You're not show. Little dude. Different show. Different At show. what point do you go? All right, come on, y'all. <laughs> like, you crack your neck. You small, your back. He got small talk. So how would you do that? <laughs> Open in a speech for people like you. <laughs> well, who, <laughs> yeah, right, but that, that's just okay, so that's just a business model. You know that's what I mean? That's interesting. Good question. Yeah, I yeah. like how your mind be. You be right but on I'm the money. Yeah, instead of reading off Google. Yeah. Yeah. NBA. I know you guys' oh. union and I wonder Callback. if it's the same rules like, you know, because I'm sure their dad is on all kinds of games and stuff like that. And I wonder if it's like, it, does he still get checks just for... A couple years, or you know, they looking like they don't know. <laughs> yeah, they don't show them check. Go on in your room. Yeah, he had the oh, mailbox Brian, every day. Uh, you talked uh, oh, wow. yeah, oh, right. yeah. Lakers and yeah. 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 Good, mm-hmm. One of the coolest dudes ever. I play him uh, every day. I talk your dad every day. Y'all know that. I know. He like, had me do. come do. Uh, he used to play with us in the uh, league. Remember that? Mm-hmm. That's like, that league. That league. Which league? Oh, what happened to it? The softball league. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. I think that's what I meant. And uh, he had me come do his when he was at uh, when he was playing for Utah Jazz. So he's man, come do my uh, birthday party because birthday twenty fourth twenty. Oh, so you plug in that you do birthday parties. Okay. Hey, uh, you know, Dad, I don't turn down huh? shit. Nothing. No. Be hey, home. we want you to come do a funeral. I'm in. Hey. I do hey, that show too. your love for this dead man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know him now, you ain't going to never know him. Anyway, uh, it, just one of the coolest guys ever. And I always tease him about the uh, the game with Michael Jordan. When Michael pushed him. Yeah. The crossover. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> a little, little nuts. Mm-hmm, little, mm-hmm. Michael gave him the little. Uh, and then I said, and I have that picture at the house. Oh, Slam it down. My sons gave it to me. Slam it down, Speedy. Slam it down. Oh, you, you didn't bring it. You didn't bring it. Oh, you, oh, you got the poster? Yeah, I got I got the on the little frame. Poster's thing. bigger than uh, the picture. One thing I do want to ask you, I know you gotta go, you gotta pick the kids up. Uh yeah, my father. <laughs> they, <laughs> on morning. ESPN this morning. I live with my kids and my wife just so far. That's, 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 that's good. good. Dad. They were saying how uh yeah, the your point favorite guard- Disney movie used to be The Lion King. I don't know what it is today. I Googled you. Go ahead, Speedy. 
Wow. What <laughs> the soft butter shit is that? I thought, I thought, you put in Google, you like Lion King? I've never put anything yeah, in Google. Yeah, it's yes, what it says. Or Wikipedia it or anything else. <laughs> it says number 74, <laughs> guess, guess loves what? Lion King. When, when you do enough in your life. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow. wow. I, I, you can Google me. When you do enough in you your life. You can say Jamie Foxx friend. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know. <laughs> Man, that's hella funny. <laughs> what, what they were saying this morning. Is, like, I didn't even know Wikipedia, none of that. They were just like, you got a Wikipedia page. I was like, all right, well, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm doing Let something. Let me ask you a that's question. Right. What year are you living in? What year? Yeah. <laughs> you know it's 2018. Everybody yeah. using the internet. Yeah, I know. But I don't, she he, she asked me, he, I don't put anything in Google. Like, I don't oh, yeah. add no. to my bio or had, anything like that. He's had concussions. Yeah, yeah. We don't get him all that. We just I write some shit down. Okay, I get it. He's had career successes too because there are a lot of sites on him. But this is on DenverBroncos.com. Well, yeah. I mean, I you know I've accomplished enough without the internet and social media to where I had a question. I'm comfortable. You know, I'm I'm comfortable. Are you on any social media? Yeah, I'm on all of it. I got like you know a couple hundred followers or something like that. People always be like, "Well, you only got two hundred followers." I'm like, I don't I don't care. I guess he ain't been on here. Ain't gonna help us. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. What's your go to? What's your go to? Oh, hey, no, I'm, I'm gonna help. Hey, man, you only got 200 people following you. We all had choices. Should have tried harder in high school. <laughs> all of that. No, he no, wasn't the same. Wasn't as yeah, I'm gonna oh, rich as fuck. I like that. It work. Yeah. But yeah, so, so I want to ask you this question because so, fuck, so, I want fuck Instagram and all of the oh, other shit. Oh, you getting like, turned up now? Drop the f bomb. Like we live in a. He about to go pick up. Get, get, get your motherfucking ass in this car with your Texan ass. We live in a How many followers you got? Yeah. <laughs> you daddy. That's all we got. You, daddy. you don't need equate, no followers. We but, got money. But people equate their success <laughs> with how many up. fake people that follow them. Thank right? you. Yeah, that's, that's what true. I said. That's, that's, it. that's a dangerous society to buy into because right. if you allow yourself to be consumed with that, the negative responses that people attack you with on Which those platforms will. will alter your life. That's yeah. true. I agree. Fuck and I've that. seen it happen yeah, to people. That's, right. that's what I'm saying. People I tell that to eat. young people all the time. I hear what you're saying. But if I, you I, buy into that, yeah, well, I get to sell flat tummy tea and teeth white Ooh. because I have so many followers. But yeah, you still have to drag yourself every day through these negative comments of people that's just true, trying... Right. To tear your life apart. But you have to do that as well, being an athlete. So what's the difference? That. I don't want to do none of that. Athletes get tore down. Have yeah. you have you seen not seen Kaepernick? Yeah, of course. But you don't gotta read you don't have to buy into that. Does he look bothered? Does Colin Kaepernick look bothered by but what I'm everybody just saying, you being an athlete and you being on social media period? He, he was so just what's in the Tanzania. difference in somebody selling like, coffee? He he like uh, he flat he's... tummy tea. Because so I'm trying to get a flat tummy tea. I know so I'm not everybody, <laughs> trying, everybody trying to get those deals because that's What's money. A Look, tummy? it's a revenue it's a stream. Tea. But all I'm saying is, round. don't let that define you, <laughs> right? That, don't let <laughs> social media that. define you. None of those people know you. So when you chat room or whatever it is, you you look chat at that. Room? What year are you in? No, it's a chat room to this show. Like people, oh, right, 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 right. slow down <laughs> over there, squeaky voice. What you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like when you oh, I let know outside, not to roast. when you let outside, <laughs> I heard that word, roast, time. roast Watch away. What year are you in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did date yourself on that one. I did. Show your love for seventy. I'm, I'm <laughs> just saying, like keep it real. Be, and I'm talking to these young ladies in here. Be comfortable with your accomplishments. And just because so and so doesn't follow you back or like your picture, it, they, it has no bearing. Or they unlike you. Right. It has no bearing on following. what you can and, and can't do in life. Hilarious. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Let me ask you this. And that uh, is all tie in together. Anyway, uh, the ball. So ESPN Mm -hmm. is catching flack from the coach from uh, Dallas Mavericks because they they, they, his thing was uh, ESPN gave the ball dad a platform to become who he is, and he's up. I guess the coach from uh, the uh, Mavericks is upset that ESPN did that, and they had to go and kind of not correct it. The, no, the coach. Okay. Uh, uh, I forgot his name, but the coach for the Ma- Mavericks. So, my thing to you, and, and and I have zero problem. I think because of our society, you can speak your mind, you can become mm-hmm. a millionaire. And I think what he, wh- what people don't point out, and, and is that his none of his sons are in jail. Well, almost happened, but they're not in what jail. They not they not smoke. You know what I'm saying? They not they on the bad player. side. And and the dad's in their life, and no one ever says the fact that the dad's in their life. 
where you have a lot of brothers and the dad ain't nowhere to be found. Well, right. it shouldn't be a caveat. It shouldn't be like, well, at least he's around. It should be the norm, even though it's not. Yes, right. It right. Be. Even you right. don't get and, and special brownie points for right. just being in your kid's life. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. That's that given. should be the norm. Yeah. yeah. Right. right? Yeah. So when you see a black man or African American man in his son's life and he's boisterous all the way and through. he's all, and, 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 and I, it's a negative thing. Look, LeVar Ball, sometimes I don't agree with some of the things he's saying. Mm -hmm. He raised his kids to play professional basketball. Yep. Right? Yeah. All three of them play professional basketball. Mm -hmm. Period. Right? Hate what you, you know, he went to Nike and Adidas and Reebok and all these companies and said, hey, let's do a branding deal. Right? Yeah. We have a brand already. We'll be a part of, of your roster. Let's do They were like, absolutely not. Right? If LeBron James would have came out of high school and said, I want to do a branding deal. Mm -hmm. Right? Instead of. LeBron making sixty million dollars on the, or eighty million dollars on his first shoe deal, and Nike making three billion dollars mm, right. on that same shoe deal. That's the disparity. This man is saying, "Look, we're not doing that. You're not gonna pimp my sons. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, I work with you if we can have a partnership. They like we don't do partnerships. You got to become know, Michael right. Jordan. You got to become Kobe Bryant. You got to become." LeBron James now before we do oh, imagine the money Michael Jordan would have, now he's a billionaire yeah. because of right. these shoes imagine right. if he would have had ownership from the beginning mm -hmm. yeah Kobe Bryant LeBron James well they're never gonna let us in America black Americans get that power that's why you gotta take it and that's what this and man I, 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 agree and I, think, I think what they're doing though they're trying to tear him down for having that voice of no I'm gonna do it this way and everybody's well, you. no one's gonna buy your shoe the game. do you agree no not you at think all. He is? No. Oh, I think sometimes. I, I, think, I, I think sometimes he's no. a little too much, especially when he comes out um, belittling other players. If on you the put team the camera like in, that. if I put the camera in front of you, you're gonna say whatever. Oh, America lives for it. No, I'm, saying, for I'm, I'm saying, if I put a camera in front of you, you're gonna say what you're gonna say, right? Yeah. Don't put the camera in front of him. How about that? But they do it because their ratings go up. That's Why do you think? Well, that's like saying the Kardashians shouldn't have a show. Yeah. And right? you know, I heard Beyonce yeah. say she, Beyonce. she did some. Yeah, she did an interview. <laughs> Are we open the ball, brother? Because to she used to have a problem with her father, and she oh, was an doing idiot. an interview where she was um, telling some people what she needed, and she said. I now understand why my father was the way he was. No, he's a shithead. Well, I don't know him. I don't <laughs> yeah, know him. He got one of the dances like, pregnant. It's like so. what you said right. early on. Yeah, and There's I know two a couple things of girls that you said there. early on, which is he tried to have choices. Not, so ESPN shouldn't get in trouble because there have been other fathers that have been on there, mm -hmm. but they made different choices. It's this brother's something that's making people want to see him. But here's and the thing. Also, people watch you know, I'm and their 50, ratings, the uh, ratings speedy, go up. You know I'm going to forget what I was oh. getting ready to say. Well, I think he I, 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 Yeah, I done forgot. <laughs> I, done, I, done, I done forgot. I done forgot. But... Yeah, the, so I, the I just argument like, for people is. Oh, saying, I know what it was. Oh, you're Lord. younger. You're younger <laughs> than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it was. I keep and off. until you, you know, nobody has walked in this brother's shoes. So if you cut to either one of us today, there can be people that can get upset about what I said. He said you, 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 you. Everybody. Yeah, nobody's gonna be happy. Nobody's gonna be happy. So until we walked in these brother's shoes, we gotta celebrate the fact that, like you said, he's there. He's, he's doing. He's with, in, but you, and it I should agree be a norm. with you. It, it should, should be, be a norm. norm. It should be a norm. It seems yeah. like it makes his children uncomfortable, though. It, that, 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 that's I agree with that. Right. It seems yeah, like, but that's the only father that. they know. That's right. the only father so they, they know. Sometimes the son is even look like, Dad, shut the fuck up. I, I, right. make, I make him feel uncomfortable. I have a question yeah. Yeah. for you two. How do you guys feel about him uh, sending his sons overseas? I think they start playing tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Well, is their first that's home smart. Game. I think the college Why one, let the colleges yeah, make money off of them? The kid that's in high school, I think that's a big bunch. I think he should have yeah, finished his high, high school. school. Yeah. They he should have. I don't agree with the fact taking a sixteen year old out of high yeah. school to go and play taking with him overseas. And, and, but right. But on the flip side of that, when you look at other countries, yeah, right, they, they play this, fourteen. This is normal. Okay. This is normal. Fifteen year olds play professional basketball overseas yeah. and get paid. Wow. In Paris and France. Yeah, I think Tony. I think Tony, Tony Parker, Parker was 15 years 15, old, yeah. and, and the, they, uh, the San Antonio Spurs drafted him when he was 16. Right. Ricky you know Rubio, you Minnesota, drafted him when he was 16. Listening to that still small voice or your intuition or whatever you want to call it, never looks good until after it's paid off. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's see. Yeah, people Genius. were saying like Le pace. LeBron wouldn't have been LeBron or Air Jordan wouldn't have been Air Jordan if he didn't have that deal. Well, he was still going to be the greatest basketball player on the planet 
right? So they're saying, yeah, sign with somebody, make your legacy, and then do it big. Well, why not do it big, bet on yourself from the beginning? Mm -hmm. It's not going to, whether you, whatever shoes you're wearing or whatever deal you have, is not going to change the type of basketball player you are. Right. People still would have bought Air Jordans because he was the greatest basketball player on on the planet Earth. He was dunking from the free throw line. So that... You know, That's that didn't why have I'm nothing glad to do we with got it. these t-shirts, Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> with that in mind, uh, fantastic, man. Again, give your information to give. Yeah, no, we don't. Uh, Ephraim Salam. Uh, you can. Well, you're not I'm, on. I'm, I'm on Twitter. <laughs> I, I very rarely twi- a tweet, but I'm at Ephraim Salam and, you know, you're Instagram. You're not going to spell it? Type yeah, spell E-P-H-R-A-I-M-S-A-L-A-A-M. Does Ephraim mean something? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Want me Google what it means? Yeah, well, look, she get Google fingers over yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Google fingers? No, what, what, what does it mean? Uh, it means uh, emperor, ruler, it's Hebrew. And then they oh, missed that's that a one. Good name. <laughs> anyway, is it Muslim? Shabazz. Yeah. Oh yeah, Shabazz. Are you Muslim? Yeah, I'm, I'm Muslim. Oh, okay, I My grew up life. nation of Islam. Yep. So, you know. You had a moment. Y'all want to finish? <laughs> no, I just want to hug you. Steve. No! <laughs> yeah, you're the only person you want to hug. You got to stop hugging, dude. I like That's you, It's not man. a good look for Why? you. Why? Why is hugging a, a man not Speedy. a good look? Yeah, exactly, good. Speedy. You should stop. Right. <laughs> no! Oh, he's going to touch your hip? <laughs> <laughs> God, Radio show like, gets felt up by like XFL players. <laughs> like, like everybody know when you, when you come in with the homie, you go here and you put your, your elbow. Put up. That, that, that's to keep that. You don't go and around the waist. No, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. you don't do cheek to cheek. Well, you can't fit, but go ahead. What? Damn! <laughs> wow. I fucking doing the thing for uh, uh, Al B. Sure, and oh, he produced Fox talking? first uh, yeah, special yeah, that we yeah. did in Oakland. So I bring Al out, and he said, thank you to everybody. And I go to give him the dap, and the cheek hit the cheek. And I went, oh. oh. <laughs> and I was froze for a minute. I was like, hey, give it up for Albie. <laughs> and we're just going to bring Jamie out. This is a, it, just, it was the weirdest thing. It threw your whole mojo off. off. It threw me off. Okay, y'all. Ephraim's a Gemini. Woo-hoo. Oh, he got two personalities. Woody I Woody really do. Woody and my Woody wife Woody will Woody attest Woody to that. What's time like, is she? Who what are you she? today? She's a uh, cancer. Woody, woody, woo. Woody, woody, woody. I'm a Gemini, 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 in 93, you didn't pay back that relaxer you had. <laughs> and you bought a year supply of do-rags. Do-rags. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> From the 99 cent store. Like, Look here. Oh, hey, hey, man, you funny Anytime. as fuck, bro. Anytime yes. you want to come back, you, you, I don't have to ask you. Just come over. Okay. Seriously. All right. You got Should I show up later or on time? <laughs> later. Well, later. Don't just, do on time. It, it didn't embarrass 12. yourself. Because I came in and you you almost was offended that I was here <laughs> early. He was like, God damn, you, you're 15 minutes early. What? We're not even ready in here. No, no, you understand. I said, e, get here. No. 10.45. Nigga. He was in 10.45. here in the doorway. I was like, hmm. <laughs> Just, and nigga, we still don't put the mics together. Uh, he was like, I, I, what, 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 what does this chord go? I'm just like, I'm just, like, I'm just gonna hang out in the back back there, man. I just, you let me know when it's time. No, but yeah. I, that's about being professional, young people. No, really right? If you hired to do a job, if you agree to do something, and athletes, we get a bad rap. We get a bad rap. I have a lot of colleagues uh, who've pulled out of things, been late because we've had so much success. We're sought after, so we're on our own time. And mm-hmm. I've never, I've been able to be successful in this business. You about to be late business. to pick these kids up. <laughs> no, nah, they're all right. They're all right. We, um, Call I've him. had success in this business because I've always been on time, always been professional. Mm. And you can set yourself aside <laughs> from right, your right. from your peers yeah. by being like that. That's very true. That's though. true. Very true. true. So do you think I should start coming here at 10? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. we were on air when Even you, you pulled in. Show, <laughs> no, we, we went on air and went off air. Yeah, we yeah, started we and stopped. Vinny was so mad. I said, we got to wait for 10. She was like, Look, so, nigga. So unprofessional. Oh. 
Oh, see, no, now I, I, I never said that. I'm mean, talking about us because oh. we just started 11. But all if those this is times a job for when you, I was then... showing up at 10.50, we would start at 11.15. Really? Did you just throw us under the bus? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Y'all threw did. me on the bus. We no, all did. did together. Uh, uh, number 57. So I thought. Number 57. Number 57 was 74. Okay, I, I I thought, you know, we were giving the chat. I mean, did you graduate high school in 74? No, I'm just, no, for real. Damn. I, I mean, I mean, no, it's true. Wait, in my mind. 74? Yeah, it was. No, it was about 72? No, it was 70s, though, right? You can be our daddies in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's Uncle Speed. Man. <laughs> hey, Shaquille. I hate, I hate all y'all. Crazy old uncle. <laughs> you will not be What Uncle Speed you doing? He in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Drooling. What? Oh. We gonna take a break. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gonna get the shit slapped out of there. What? Oh, you have Alicia? No, that's uh, oh. the video, right? Oh, oh no, we gotta get her information too. Oh, yeah. I don't know, oh, yeah. I don't know why yes. you got no, go coach ahead. there. I am D Springs. Okay, we can let her do but it. You go ahead. Yeah. Hey, what's up? You can follow me on all social media so at <laughs> I am A M D Springs. I'm on Facebook. I got videos. They viral. Now let me ask you this. Um, our fans have been hoping that you would stand up so that they could see your figure. Why? You know she ain't gonna do that. I, I, didn't, think, no, I didn't think she was. I didn't think she was. I didn't think you she ain't got to stand up for the moment. I didn't think she was. That's why I didn't ask her. Ask her. I said, you know. I mean, did we not learn anything from the Golden Globes last well, night? Well, <laughs> wait a minute. 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 Take the temperature. Listen, I think you want to see my body because you mentioned it before. Oh, no, darling. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I didn't mean it like that, but you oh, did mean it like that. Oh, no, 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 no. I said that way. Into no, no, no. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Well, it caught me off guard. Because I'm, you know, when you said I think you, you know, it, it caught me. It caught me off guard. This got awkward. I apologize. Girl. But it did get awkward because I was like, oh, no, not me. But I was getting ready to say you should say me too because they would like for you to stand up too. For what? He is not. We don't have enough. We don't have enough. If you stand your big ass up. Camera, hey, <laughs> camera. I will click because it'd be waste. That's all it's it's all waste. That's package. not a good look. Oh, wow. All package. What type oh. of package? Huh? Oh, wow. Was this FedEx? Time to play oh. <laughs> Great answer. FedEx. Ne next day delivery. <laughs> what day did you teach him to no, get no. his lessons? Sometimes, <laughs> same day. No, no. You used to be a stripper. What, what was your stripper name? Uh, peanut butter. Why do they call you peanut butter? Because uh, I stick to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Stand sorry, young. I'm We're here always. We they, 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 they are grown. Oh, they have man. heard worse than did that. These just jokes. <laughs> These springs, I'm following you. You gonna follow me back? No. This is joke. All right, so it's going down. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> funny shit, girl. Super funny. Don't lie to me. Super you gotta know you gonna talk shit that about shit me. That shit there was fucking. Yeah, as soon as you bit that corner, as soon as you bit. But that nigga boy, you said. Hold up, bitch. <laughs> you grab, that. you grab the you essence. Did you did it. You, that, that, you that did. You grab the essence. When it come off like that, quick, it's in your spirit. On the next yeah, segment, coming up, coming up after it's the cold. break on why African American <laughs> females can't get along. <laughs> that's not, yeah, but then, no, we were playing it, y'all. Yeah. We know this. Look, look. She's look. reading the chat room. Y'all, sister, y'all need to hug it out. Hug it out. Let's hug it out. Hug it out. Hug it out. Hug it out. Look, she's like, I ain't hugging nobody. When we come back, we'll be doing Sneakerhead. We got Scramble Eggs and Pam coming up, so don't move. It is the Rollout Show.